Spike. It's a super email app. In addition to being a very neatly organized email inbox, you can send and receive emails in chat format, create and manage tasks and to-do lists, collaborate with real-time note-taking, send voice messages, organize video meetings, manage files, see all attachments from one person in one place and preview them without downloading files and much more. Spike works with your pre-existing email accounts. It's completely free for personal use and you can use it on iOS, Android, PC, web browser and even Oculus Quest 2. And you can use majority of Spike's features without requiring other people to be on Spike, which I think is really great. It groups all your emails by people, making it easier for you to find emails by a single person in one go. So all emails, all attachments, all conversations with one person in one place. Of course, you have the flexibility to change that and opt for something you're more used to and find comfortable. In fact, if you tap on the contact, you can have access to all the details and interactions that you've had with that person, including all files and emails ever exchanged. You can even initiate voice or video calls or chat with that person right there. Now, just like Gmail has primary inbox for important emails and other tabs for unimportant emails, Spike has a simpler priority inbox that contains your important emails, while all promotional or update emails go into others. Spike definitely tries to create more efficiencies by injecting chat style conversations into traditional email format, making interactions feel more natural and spontaneous. But there's more to this and that's what makes this email app an all-in-one. And the first feature I want to talk about is Super Search. It's incredibly powerful and intuitive. For example, let's say I want to look at all attachments that I've received by certain person. So I could just search for the person and filter by files. Or let's say I want to look at all the files that I've received that have a keyword called thumbnail. So I just search for thumbnail, filter by files, and there you go, right there. Or let's say I want to look at all emails from Amazon with the word delivery. So I look for delivery and it contextually shows me Amazon as a filter. So what's happening is when you put in a keyword, it goes through your emails and dynamically presents you with filters that are contextually relevant. And by the way, searches across not just your emails or attachments, but also through notes and tasks that you make on Spike, which brings me to my second favorite feature on Spike, note taking. You can start a note from within the application and it has quite a few formatting capabilities. Look at this note here, for example. I can select a word and highlight it or change its color. I have heading styles, checklists, bullets. I can insert GIFs and photos and videos. I can resize them, move them around. I can have tables. I can even have attachments show up. And if I tap on them, the attachment previews open within Spike. So I don't even have to download them on my computer or my tablet, which is again, amazing. And so just like Google Docs, you can have multiple people working on the document at the same time, collaborating real time, making changes. Excellent. And as I said, you don't need other people to have Spike. You can send an invite to that note to anyone on any email address and they will be able to come in and collaborate. And now let's talk about the next feature that I really like. Sometimes words are not enough to explain or express or articulate well enough. And that's when you need voice which is what Spike has. And so just like chat, you can send voice messages as a response to an email. Now, voice messages sometimes can be easier to understand. They save you time of typing out long emails and feel more personal. And once you're done recording, just release the record button and you can hit send and the voice message just goes, which plays on the other end. And then if you extend onto voice, you get video. And that's another amazing thing about Spike is that you can create and schedule video meetings right from within Spike. So let's say you already have a group created on Spike, which is a really easy way to start video calls, or you are in a multi-threaded um, email chain. So you can just tap on the video icon and it sends out the invite to all the members involved. And then you just have to tap on join meeting and that's it. Everyone can just join in and start chatting. And you also get the option to share your screen, which I think is a great collaboration tool. And the amazing thing is that there is no time limit on these video calls. You don't need any third party apps or plugins. The video call works right out of the box. You just need the app with you. Spike truly enhances your workflow productivity and it organizes your chaotic workflow, which often involves juggling between multiple apps like Slack, Zoom and other collaboration tools. And why do you even want to feel stuck to an email system that looks cluttered and outdated, right? As I said, Spike is free for personal use. So give it a shot, try it out and see how it fits in your daily workflow. 
Anyway, guys, that's it on Spike. I hope this was really helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. And if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.